if you're new to the industry, it can be very frustrating finding the right multimeter. On this video, we'll look at different functions and features that you may want to consider. Although multimeters look the same, they do have different functions. With this specific Klein multimeter, there's a little holder here for my test clamp when I plug it in, whereas on this one, I'm not able to do that. So if I have this multimeter, I'm usually having to work with two hands, whereas this one, I'm able to just hold it with one hand. And this is very helpful, especially when I'm working on voltage. And you can see here, I can use one hand instead of having to use two hands. I'll give you a quick demonstration. Again, before we start this video, be very careful when you're working on any type of voltage. Here I have my insulated screwdriver. We are working on 240 volts behind this panel and this can be life threatening. I'll set my multimeter to volts. Right now I have one of my test leads here on my holder and with my other hand I have it testing both of my lines coming in. You can see here that I do have 240 volts. And look, I'm only using one hand as I'm working on this system. On this multimeter, I have to kind of maneuver it. I've been able to test things, especially like outlets, using just one hand, even though I don't have a holder. But again, these are things that you want to consider when you're purchasing your multimeter, even if it's not a Klein and you want to go with another brand or you have a different preference, these are things you want to consider. Another thing I also want to advise, especially when you're working on 120, 240 volts, a lot of these multimeters come with these little tips here that you can remove. You always want to have these tips on and this is going to help protect you as well as your multimeter in case you have a situation where you accidentally touch the side of a panel or you touch something that has electricity. You can see here on this multimeter, I was working on an electrical dryer. I looked away for one second and you can see here, I mean, literally almost took the tip off and I had to learn my lesson as to making sure out of habit that I keep these little top tips on so also keep that in mind, especially when you're working on HVAC, and this is 240 volts. The next thing you want to consider here is your non-contact voltage detector. Right now, I'm going to hold my button, and you're going to see this light light up. So right now it's not lit. Whenever I go next to any electricity, you can see here that it lights up, and that in the that indicator light is telling me that I do have voltage. This feature also works when you're working on outlets. Another feature that you want to make sure that you keep in mind when you're purchasing your multimeter is the ability to check for capacitance. With this multimeter right here, I do not have a setting that allows for me to check my capacitor. You come to your capacitor, you do a quick test, and you could determine why your fan, uh, condenser fan motor is not running, or why your compressor is not running, just simply by testing your capacitor. This is a dual capacitor. You can see I have fan, arm, and C is for my common. If I came to a job site and I had this multimeter, I wouldn't be able to test the capacitor because my multimeter does not allow for that specific function or feature. Because with this multimeter, I do have the function that I need to test my capacitor. I do have a video posted on my channel as to how to properly test your capacitor. I do have my test leads here on this capacitor. I have it on C, common, and on fan. And if I got a reading of three or less, then I would know at this point that my capacitor is bad and the capacitor needs to be replaced. So right now I have my multimeter on the common and on the arm, and you can see that I do have a reading of 41. So if I had an issue with my compressor and my compressor wasn't running, I would obviously want to come here and check my capacitor Here we have what's called a clamp and this allows us to do an amp draw 
on our multimeter. One of my first multimeters that I purchased, I decided to go with the cheaper model that didn't have the clamp. But when I purchased it, I was fairly new to the industry and I didn't realize that it was a necessity, especially in troubleshooting and diagnosing your system, to have the ability to test for amp draw regarding your compressor or your blower motor. So if you are in the field looking for a multimeter, you wanna be able to make sure to spend the extra few bucks to ensure that you do have the ability to do an amp draw. And this is gonna be very helpful out in the field. So here I have my multimeter set to amp. You can see that I have an amp draw once the system turned on of 12 amps. Another feature you want to consider when you're purchasing your multimeter is the feature of being able to test for temperature. And here we have a temp probe right here and this is just the ambient temperature outside right now, reading 105. And this is extremely important, especially when you're working on your HV or heating system to determine what the temperature of the airflow is coming out of your vents. So right now here, I have my multimeter. You can see my temp probe is inside the duct. And this is giving me a temperature of the actual airflow coming out of my vents. This is also extremely useful when you're using the superheat or super cool method. Now I did have to purchase this clamp separately, but I am able to use it because the multimeter does allow for me to test for the temperature. I do plan on doing a more in-depth review in regards as how to properly use your multimeter and I want to do a video where we're diagnosing everything from our disconnect all the way to the contactor, to the capacitor, checking amperage for the compressor and the fan motor. But this is kind of just an introduction to uh, purchasing a multimeter that best suits the needs for any HVAC technician entering the field. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.